Good evening and welcome to another night of OU Esports. Tonight we have OU Overwatch playing Ramapo College in New Jersey. Lineup for OU tonight we have Alex Nordlin, Luke, Matt, Sky, and Henry Bloom. Going into this game, Owu has five wins and one loss. And Ramapo has four wins and one loss. Should be a good game tonight. Looking at the comp, Owu fielding early, you have a Mei, Lucio, Sig, Kiriko, and Reaper. Very comfortable picks for Owu. Reaper going for an early split. Orisa cut out. Manages to squeak by. Wraith coming out. Matt with an early kill. First kill of the game. Henry goes down. Orisa cut out. Squeaks by again. 79 charge on the Reaper. Orisa goes down. Oh, we should secure early here. 23%, 24%. Looking good. May ult is up. Reaper ult is almost up. Kiriko ult is up. Lucio ult is up. May wall comes down. Oh! That'll be a team wipe. Just a little unlucky there. A tad unlucky. Plenty of percent on the board though. Yeah, they, they held that held them pretty well to 50%. And you know, having that this big Lucio um Google, I mean beat will still keep them in. Even if they lose their tank. Which I think they'll save it until the team fight. Oh has all of their ults up right now. Should be a strong retake here in a moment. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got him. Reaper going for an off angle. Can he get value out of it? They see him. He race out. This could be a good Reaper ult opportunity? No. Almost got tanked with it instantly, but a little unlucky that he got javelin. Frisbee still alive, now dead. Good. Big mail from Matthew here, getting the two supports. Henry causing a lot of trouble for the Marissa goes down. Owu oh, back on the point. It looks like we may have used every ultimate there. Nope, we saved the Kiriko ult. Kitsune Rush is actually really good, especially with um, with Reaper, because since Reaper's big damage up front with his two shotguns. He's just a little unlucky to dodge the man. It happens. Rational. Their May gets their ult off. Is that an enemy frisbee? Yes it is. And it's gone. Okay, good. They're really still causing havoc, even though they're down a lot with just three of them. 
And we should have enough for another wave of ults, hopefully, to secure the point. Because we'll have Reaper ults. May We're close probably. to May. Sig ult will have. Sig ult in this closed space, I'm not my favorite to use, but he's not my favorite thing to uh, use, but. Oh no. I'm just unlucky with this. this mm -hmm. I like it though, I can see the vision. So, what Luke was doing there, he was looking for an off angle with the Reaper, which makes sense and just unfortunately got caught and pushed off the map. Big male here, probably freezing at least someone and trying to like. At least, like, slowing down a lot of their team from doing anything. If we can kill the Rissa, I think we can close it out here. I think I they will. I think we can close it out here. <laughs> I think they will close it out here. Oh, and they're Bastion trying to push Baida. And yeah. Good first point. Good first point. A little close, but you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being a little close. All about how you finish. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Owu's changing it up here. Nope! I actually like narrowing one's focus uh, in Overwatch a little bit. I, I think switching off of champions a tad too much narrows your ability to master, master said champion. <laughs> I would agree with that. I can see that. I mean, as someone who plays support, I mean, I could quite consistently change support players so I could, you know, get a little bit of the edge on the other team. And you do need you do you do need enough to be adaptive, uh, absolutely. But uh, I feel like any college student who works a full time load and then says I can play everyone in Overwatch is either not being truthful about what they can do. Or I'm not really working at their not job. Really working <laughs> at their job. Yes. <laughs> a little unlucky to lose so many in that big opening team fight, but that opening team fight really doesn't determine this first point. May the other team may cap it, but oh. Losing Sky there is a bit rough. Indeed. But still having Henry there is still important. Absolutely. With the with the, with the May and the Lucio, with these three, if they pursue too far, we will see a punish, I believe. Oh, and uh, as soon as I say that, they oh, find out. Okay, yeah. okay. And Luke providing deep trouble for their team and they've been their own backline. Oh. And it just unfortunately gets picked. Quite recently, when I was starting to watch some of their games back, I saw a lot of interesting, you know, picks from um, Luke and uh, Matthew. Which Matthew obviously doesn't really pick anyone but May, but he still plays a very good May. Scary. I'd say he also has a strong Reaper on his roster. You, he, you see, you don't see him pull it out a lot. Um, I feel like in situations where they need a little more hit scan, I do think Matt could switch off of May and go to Reaper. But you got to remember, Matt is like top 500 May, so his comfort with May is off the chart. And even on a bad play, he can still get quite a bit of value out of a May. Yeah. Looks like the other team used a lot of big ults into this. Almost, oh, almost a really big soldier, I mean, a uh, Reaper ult, to really throw their team a mystery here. Oh. He's just not having a good night with. He just keeps getting solo ulted by that Bastion. This guy just getting picked, getting picked. It's just so unlucky that. This map is really not good. This one, this is why I personally don't like Lijong Tower. This map with the with the Sig ult, I imagine, is very frustrating for Alex right now. Indeed. Although Owu has several... Oof. I think we're going to have to see them spend a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. they really will. Big, big two ults. Should be enough to at least secure the point. Oh, he... Ooh, okay, Ram goes down. That should be team wipe. Yeah, I don't think their Kiri has... I don't know if they're running a Kiri, but... I thought they were. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's, that's a good two ults to use there to really keep that fight going. I think so. They needed to spend a little bit there to ensure that they were able to keep them off of winning. It looks like we are completely out of ults. I think they spent three ults there. And we did switch out of tank to go for Doomfist, which, you know, I have seen him play a lot of Doomfist quite recently. I have seen a lot of Doomfist as well. I was originally quite nervous about it, but his performance this season has been solid on the Doomfist, so yeah. I've since come to appreciate it a tad more. 
Frisbee again. Oh, such, such a well placed frisbee. Oh no. This bounce for them is really causing them a lot of trouble. He's, his frisbees are pretty much perfect. Do we have someone? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. 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 Just maybe. Ah. Oh. Oh. Close. Just really unlucky with this first one. Well, it'll keep things one. interesting. Yeah. I know. Uh, <laughs> losing that losing that first team fight may have set off a little bit because they're quite used to winning every team fight. I do have concerns about their mental if they find themselves on the back foot. To start. Well, in general, I I'm nervous. Uh, it's not not a position I like to be in. I mean, it's not a position they've been in at all this season, really. Besides one game. Well, one game where they lost. I mean, that, 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 for, that game was just their fluke game. They're, you're always allowed to have one. Yeah. But a good, good uh, speed, boop out, uh, speed boost out. And he goes back to Sigma, though. So we've been on this map many times. We're gonna to want to see that shield moving. Let's see if we can't find. Ooh, they have a big pick oh, on the big tank pick early. on the tank early! And they're really just gonna wait till they wait till the timer goes up so they can cap. Well, they have. So they sent Henry out to go secure, which was a great call. Mm -hmm. Sending Kiriko now as well. And they cap it now. Big two picks on the Bastion and Ram. Yeah, that's what you like to see. Henry very much enjoying the parkour. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Be a little scary. Look, I mean, they are able to keep themselves <laughs> safe there with that other wall. Oh, this guy is just so oh, no. unlucky you not know, killing that May who just. It's like they're two. Oh, two to five right now. Oh. I think they might be better off. Oh. Well, that'll be a team wipe for Owu. 33% on the board. 34% on the board. Lil Bastion a little excited there with turret form. He probably could have canceled and saved it if he really wants and gain it back a little quicker. I think it's a little bit in our favor. Yeah. Because I mean, we've got Soldier on 80, we've got Kiriko on um, 90. 90 is pretty much across the board. We could see a big Sigil come out in this area. Their tank did switch to um, Zarya, which is a decent counter for... Oh, that Just was so lucky. A tad too far up with the signal. Well, they did pick tank, which is and oh, and they got Baptiste. Two big ults. Okay, everyone else should go down here, and Owu's back on the point. And they're both pretty much, oh, pretty much nearly even on capping the point. Alex showing me, yet again, that he knows what he's doing with the signals. They only used one ult, I think, right? Not the whole team fight. So, yeah. Yeah, one ult. Very they really much worth just, it. They pretty much steamrolled them that, which, with that one ult, which, you know, that, that, that takes a lot of good comms from them. It does. You also have to be thinking about ult economy. So, in the time that we'll spend one ult or two ults, uh, say we spend Lucio's ult and Soldier's ult to win another fight. By the time we're done with that, Alex's ult will be back, and then you see waves of ults come out, and that's what we're aiming for. Big save with the um, uh, Lucio, I mean Lucio uh, shatter. The soldier ult comes out. It's a little less value there because of the Maywall on Ramapo's side. 82%, 83% for Owu. He's just, he's just getting targeted by that bastion it seems like the whole game they're paying they are playing very tight oh. Just unlucky not to I think Kiriko needs to get out of there you know they pushed it to 99 and it's a little scary for the other team now that now now that they just used tank all and with with now realizing that Okuru has Enough, they have 99 and can pretty much just win the game if they win. Oh yeah, Owu has two ults. And they just picked the Bastion. They just picked the Bastion. I think if we see Ramapo's tank go, go down here, I think it's all said and, and done in Owu's favor. On the tank. And that should secure them this final point. 
<laughs> Matthew being a little greedy with that wall, you think? Uh, I always enjoy Matt's May. <laughs> <laughs> And they killed that bastion just to... Oh, Ramapo sure. sending in a ball oh. not quite quickly enough. Really, really close, though. A good first game in the series for tonight. Yeah. Oh, I miss old Arissa. <laughs> that was one of her old, her old abilities. Her ult, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought Luke got away there. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a really good Maywall from the other team. They really just seal that. It bought them valuable percentage. Yeah. We'll let them discuss the next map pick, and we'll be right back.
Moving on to game two of the series tonight, looks like the map's gonna be Rialto, and I'm told you have some strong feelings on Rialto? I don't really like Rialto, personally. That's just, I'm, the high ground on this can be a little weird. It has a lot of, the early, like three, like couple meters is, you can just get booped off to the water or hooked off or sent flying, and it's a little annoying. And do you have any flyers you enjoy personally? Are you a big Mercy fan? Oh, uh, Mercy's fine, I guess. I, do, I don't think Mercy, I personally don't play Mercy. I think during this season of Overwatch, she kind of got, she's pretty much not as useful as she once was. But I think she's fine enough, but I think other supports, Moira especially, is probably a lot better right now because of the mercy nerf for the most part how do you feel about widow i've seen widow get some high value out of this map in the past I, same but it's not uh, it really depends on the widow player i mean you can you can have a great widow player and they'll pick off everyone on your team and then you can have some terrible widow players who just get no kills and not even really damage anyone oh of course running a soldier going to help with those picks more roof for damage, I like it. Bap. I kinda like this combination for this map. What are you what are your thoughts, Henry? Uh, yeah, but this 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 whole setup for them is perfect. The um everything really like goes well together for them. They kind of it blends everything. I'm trying to see. What is their team comp? I see a soldier over there. Is it a Baptiste? Is it? Oh, it is seems like a Baptiste. Ren? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I thought I saw a Bastion, but that wouldn't make sense anymore. Or would it? Maybe, kind of would. I mean, one of their players was a Bastion player. And you, I think you know my feelings on Bastion. We have very, very strong feelings all the way around here on Bastion. Well, that, this is, oh, wow, ooh, I thought ooh. it was a Reaper. It was a Ram who made it up here. And he looks like he's not, ooh. He looks like he got bullied pretty much. He got bullied a little bit, bullied off the of high they ground. They did get bullied off of high ground. That is that's surprising the, to that's me. That's the first I think I've seen all season of them getting bullied off a of high ground. That's, yeah. Strong ram play and a pushing them off a of high ground. That's pretty big play on Ramapo's side. They're gonna keep, they're gonna keep the, a support on high ground early. Oh. Okay, we got the frisbee. The frisbee kill. Well, pick for pick, but I think Owu's pick is a little bit better. Oh, no, they got the same kind of pick, doesn't really. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I would thought feel good if we killed this ram here. Yeah. All right, big, okay. Big uh, three kills from Luke there. I think that was, yeah, it was Soldier yeah. Ult that got all those kills. Yeah. You know, it's great to see, like, it's great to see him play Soldier again. I'm fantastic at it. I'm just slightly jealous. Couple good places for the for this ult, I think, on this map. And the early Moira ult are really like it does do a lot. I was it really uh, forces them to either either try to back off or or um, really make a play on something. So our May ult goes out. Can we get some kills here? One more. Okay, I see value there. I'm happy with that ult. Still lucky he died though, but. It was good that he still got the froze everyone and got the picks out of it. Yeah. Owu has several ults on their side of the field. That 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 bap ult will really help them. I mean, if if they if this team keeps pushing down that single hallway, they will probably use the bap ult. And I think there's several places on this map where we could see the bap ult in combination with the sig ult, and you would see big value. Yeah. Or soldiers. I mean, you just. Or soldiers. Yeah. I think given given the the layout of this map, the battle has a lot of synergy. I've been seeing a lot of good combo ults with uh, Sigma and uh, either Soldier or even even uh, McCree. Was that an Echo just now that flew by us? That was an Echo. Mm. And there goes Bap. Oh, and the Echo pops up from behind. He's, he's alive, and they placed Window. We're back on high ground. No doubt Ramapo wants to get them off high ground again. Big pick off of their soldier. And it's just a little lucky that my two ties to the rim. Ramapo goes down though. Almost a team wipe. And it is. 17 seconds. I 
don't know. I haven't watched a lot of these big games from them. I've just seen them play together a lot. <laughs> I don't know what their opinion on this map was, but I'm pretty sure it's positive. Was that armor ult? Yes, it was. Nice. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we got value out of it. I, I think. Yeah. Big value. Yeah, out of big. It. And they, they pretty much. Wow, this this is gonna be a hard to to hold them on this. We could see this map in pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, they they really don't. They are really strong and pushing early and really good at defense. I've really noticed that. I like that they, so they kept their mental strong. They suffered a little bit of a setback. They took a deep breath. They came back. They played hard. I think their defense this season has been really strong in all that I've seen. I think so. They're, they're making a lot of good uh, value plays out of the high ground on several maps. Mm -hmm. I think our map awareness just in general has improved drastically. Mm-hmm. Interesting, Alari. I have this season. She's not as good as she was last season. I cannot recall Henry having played Alari before. Have you seen Henry play Alari before? No, I really haven't. Maybe. maybe. And this is wow, a Genji from Luke. Uh, He's played a little Genji. I think I've seen it. I've I've definitely seen Luke's Genji. And is that Max on Echo? And Alex on Doomfist. Okay. Just, I think they're just gonna try to dive to force they win the map early. Oh, okay. This is um, they're, that is yeah, a really dive combo team right there. It's a little interesting to see, but you know, I personally don't. I, it's a very yeah, a very interesting. It makes a lot more sense with the Doomfist now. For yeah. a second there, I had some concerns. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and see, you'll see. Ooh. Ooh. That's some big, that's a big dash in that back line, forcing Frisbee early. Frisbee gone now, if this ram goes down, I think we could see Owu. That's a big progress. Oh, oh come on, Luke. He's gonna, I think he's Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Oh, I mean, they still pushed it pretty far on that one. It was a pretty far push. Maybe, maybe they're going to switch back now because they realize dive might not work as much. So BAP is back. We still have the echo. We still have a lot of the dive elements from the first comp. Yeah. Alaria this season is very interesting. She, her, she doesn't do a lot <laughs> of healing by herself, but she does a lot of healing with her turret. And her turret really didn't get any of the um, buffs like anything else did. Oh, <laughs> They're really just trying to... Another Olu team wipe. Pretty much. Yeah, I think I think they realize that their dive team won't work here and they really gotta switch it. Well, they have two minutes left. Yeah, and I think that's a SIG coming back out. Yeah. It was a SIG. Again, he still stays. <laughs> Echo still stays. I thought the Echo can be pretty decent. I can see the Echo making sense here. I, I'm a little concerned about Genji just because... The Moira? Well, actually, I'm, I have several concerns about the Genji, but <laughs> uh, Luke has proven me wrong before, and I'm sure he will again. Not right now. And, oh, they just... What a... And they use Blizzard to really... Yeah, I... Did we... They get team wiped here. We did just use the Echo ults. We ha we will have several ults though. We just need one point here. You need to push it slightly further. Genji sneaking around looking for a cheeky play. Yeah, he almost wow. he can take a May here in one on one. Mm, just Unfortunate. Unlucky. Now they're one down. They're May almost dying too. To that sky. Oh, sky. Yeah, sky. Yeah, sky. Yes, this is the sky on BAP. You know, I, I quite recently was playing with him, and he, he's a really good back to East. That's a big Alari ult, though. Let's get one here. Oh, oh no. So unlucky. 
50 seconds left. Oh, we're looking to moosh the payload a little over halfway. They're, they're super close. They just they're just so unlucky with these these er, these early picks. I think they're gonna switch pick to. Oh, the Moira, an early the Moira, Moira comes out. I I'm, I'm very comfortable with the Moira oh, yeah. pick coming out here. Oh, and they have a we have a Reaper now too, and very comfortable Owu team. I'm happy with the Reaper. And they took high ground early again. We're back on high ground. We have 18 seconds left. And a big pick on Ram from Luke. This could be what we need. Oh, come on. Matthew was still alive with his May, and he drops Blizzard. This could be a big Blizzard from. Oh, Woo. We get a few trades. And it will be. Come on, Matt. Oh. And it will be a big rock. The rock, too. okay. And it's a. Big who? Let's go. Big Woo. overtime comeback win from who? There, a little scary there. A little scary. They changed up the comp quite a bit uh, off of some of the comfort champs. We saw pretty much everything come back before we were done. Yeah. And I know. a little, you know, some really good. You couldn't uh, alt support alts. Uh, Do we see the Moira for like 15 <laughs> seconds? Yeah. That got round. Uh, that got play the game there. Yeah. So surprising. Okay, and uh, we'll move on now. Owu 2 0 in the series. We'll be right back.
And we're back with the third game of the series. If O wins this, we go home early. My least favorite Flashpoint map, too. And it seems like a lot of Owu does not really like this Flashpoint map. Why do you not like this Flashpoint map? Well, you know, the two games we've played on it, I've lost, and... That's a good reason, yeah. <laughs> it does not... And... It just doesn't feel right. Flashpoint is not my favorite game mode. But it's it's here, and they're not going to take it out unless... Um, a lot of people start complaining, and... Uh, you know, that's kind of surprising with as many Lucios and other parkour and flyers we have on our overall roster at OU. I'm, I'm kind of surprised we don't like Flashpoint more. I think Flashpoint is fine. I just think that they only have two maps. Maybe two, maybe three maps for Flashpoint? No, I remember. Hmm. Um, and it just seems like a game of forgotten. I, it's a fun game mode. It's fun, it's fast, it, and it's really nice to play and I'm, I just I just don't personally like this map because it's just not big not turnaround <laughs> it, it's just this map the Junker Junker Town is fine for me it's just this map doesn't have a lot of Lucio boop you can boot people off of neither does Junker Town but Junker Town has a fun weird mix of a little bit of everything which does not make sense but we're all with that one <laughs> Luke gets picked early. Interesting to see the other team. Oh. Ramapo with a ball and a tracer. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff moving around. Yeah, it seems That's like Wrath off the Wrath. Wraith off the Reaper as well. Oof. A big pick off the Reaper too. Oh big pick on the Reaper. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know Luke's coming up from behind. I kinda like this what we have cooking here. Oh, if we could have killed that carry kill, that would have been great. He's going back for it. Oh no! But he still gets it, doesn't matter. You know, I haven't seen a lot of teams play ball in general, and you know, maybe maybe ball isn't that bad. Captain of the Onyx team over there, Alex and I have this running conversation where I say ball shows up every season regardless of where he's at in the meta, and Alex assures me every season that no one would dare play ball. I take great joy in the fact that, yet again, Ball has resurfaced, <laughs> and I was proven correct. And you got bragging rights on this one. <laughs> I will give him flack about it later. <laughs> oh, big ball spawn. You know, Luce, Tracer this season has been doing really well, even in pros. I've seen a lot of Tracer. I, I'm actually okay with Tracer picks. I'm not sure what the meta is for Tracer, but... Uh, we've, we've also been harassed very heavily by uh, people yeah. taking off angles. We had a Reaper a few games ago who was very difficult for us to respond to, and I feel like Tracer, in a similar vein, can be very tricky. Uh, so I'm not angry about it. it looks like Owu has a lot of ults probably to throw. Can we find a way to kill Ham here, maybe? Nope, he sneaks away. Oh, but they do get one out of I mean, that's going to be a guaranteed kill and on a the wasted Reaper. Ult, it's a wasted ult, though, from... Oh, was it? Lucio. Yeah, he, he um jammed. I mean, whatever, beat it. Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. <laughs> Can we retake here? It'd be pretty nice. And it looks like it will retake. We still have Kiriko ult, too, in a nice lineup if we need oh, it. Oh, ball is on the back line. Ooh, it's a big main wall. Oh, the ball snuck in though, and oh no, oh, Henry's just unlucky. To, I mean, that's Sky unlucky to die, but a big beat from Henry. Gonna keep a whose tank alive. Um, yeah. That tracer is such a big headache. Uh, just unlucky. Unlucky not to just win that point with um, how many alts they threw at the end, because I believe they probably just thought they won that point because they didn't know ball was alive. Looks like we only have Kiriko ults for the retake here. Which is so unlucky. Maywall goes down. Wraith is teleporting. Is that Junker Queen? Yeah, GQ. Working away there. And she's just no forget. Oh, she got stuck! Oh! Big pulse bomb from the other teams. Um, Tracer. And it looks like they might just really lose this point. Oh, so close, but they still have three to go. How do you feel about that? That 
just just unlucky that they both teams went to 99, but but we couldn't capitalize off of that. Well, it's unfortunate. It is big that they wasted uh, Hammond's all. It seems like not a big use out of that. Yeah, the between Wraith and Tracer and Ball, it's just team is certainly just... a team you're not used to playing into. Yeah. That's fine. But a little... And this map has so many ball places. I do feel like that's gonna let O reset here. Ball coming out again. We have the Reaper for him. Can he go down? He sneaks away yet again. So unlucky not to kill Ball, but they do kill Lucio, which is in the. Uh, oh. oh, we're trading Lucio for May, though. Not a good trade. And we do have Lucio ults. Oh, it's just absolute every time. I think this tracer is really, really getting to them. It's not, it's not like they don't have anything to really counter her, but it's, it's just that they're fo so focused on trying to fight the team fight instead of. It looks like an O will wipe here. Yeah. yeah. So unlucky on that. That might be a weak spot in Owu's armor here, is the, the people who get behind the front line harassed. Because what I'm seeing is that when Owu goes head-to-head -head in a team fight, they, they win. win. But if they get distracted or pulled away, if their focus gets divided by something that they have to address, then they struggle. It looks like they're just going to lose this one as well. It's so unlucky. <sighs> The, the, the dive comp of the other team is really just, it's really in Owu's head that he's just sitting there. And I don't think we've seen, we well, I know that we haven't seen this combination from many other teams this season. Yeah, and even if we do, it's not, I don't think it has, no offense to the other teams, but I don't think it's as strong as this one. With the with the ball, I haven't seen many teams that come up against Onyx to go again with ball. Too big Lucio Alts dropped. Oh no. I think Sky, just get out of there if you can. Oh, we just killed the Tracer. Or kill the Tracer and get yeah. out of there. Oh. Uh, or yeah. kill the Tracer. Tracer. You know, that still staggers them pretty decently. The yeah. Tracer is really causing them a lot of problems here. It is. This Tracer is, is. Really, they need to figure out a response to the Tracer. They're not. I, they're, there are a couple. Um, characters in, that do somewhat counter Tracer. Well, I think even Luke's Reaper, I think, is more than capable of handling a Tracer. It's just they have to... They really just have to, yeah. They have to be cognizant of the fact that Tracer is going to be sneaking in the back line, and they're going to have to react when she sneaks up. Although, the minute I say Luke's Reaper yeah. could probably handle a Tracer, Tracer took the loop. Um, May not a terrible pick against Tracer because of her freeze, but I think Brig is a great character to counter her. Cassidy is a great character to counter her. Um, Tracer herself is a good counter against herself, too. Um, and the, ta the tank really to counter... I don't think there is many big tanks to counter her. And these pulse bombs are really just... really good. I mean, just pulling one or two and... Souring Owu enough to where they can't really have a team fight. Owu with a couple ults on the point though. They there is potential in the waters here for them to make a stand. And they really gotta calm this this ball um and tracer really good. <laughs> you saw one of them sort of thingy or thing the tracer when she was behind. I mean, that's a pretty good Maywall. Okay. I think they used all. I think they used. Well, we have Sigult. 
At least we used much. Reaper ult there? Okay. And Lucio. Oh, <laughs> Lucio ult. Well, it's a heavy investment, but there's only 30% left. And, yeah, it's a heavy investment. But I think Owu can really just force the other team either to back off with this high enough percentage or... Well, by the time Rampo resets, we're going to be looking at 85... Well, we're already at 90. If we can get off... The ball does not fall off. He used ult in the early team fight to really... Was oh. that the Sig ult? That is the Sig ult. Okay. He did not get anyone, but that was... May comes out swinging. Oh, May ult! Instantly! May ult to really freeze ball there. Oh, go get Lucio, May! Okay! Oh! Oh! Ball goes down! They're about to... And it's just Tracer left. It's just Tracer. And oh, and now Kiri Kiriko is back. And Kiriko, okay, Kiriko. that should be one point for Owu here. Very, very, very nerve-wracking there. <laughs> May ult. So helpful in the end. Just unlucky that they died, though. <laughs> They're gonna have Reaper ult soon. They're gonna have Kiriko ult soon. Lucio ult builds up pretty fast. Sigma's, wow. That's a lot of. Sigma's also at 38, which is a pretty quick build up. Yeah. He just used his ult. I think with him using. Oh. Ooh! Oh. <sighs> He's stuck again. He's so unlucky not to. Oh no. This is a rough, rough positioning here. I think... May goes down. People are really building his ult charge by just... Like, trying to front line their support. If he was ever there, I don't know. I would be more than okay with us spending an ultimate here as soon as we get it built up. And it's a big pick on their... Uh, the tracer. It's gonna yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Oh, wasted all it seems like ball that from ball really not useful. We're just gonna have I would be fine with a with a reaper ult coming out early here and just kind of force something. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh wow. Two ults, but, oh. oh just, and they use Kiri, but both sides I think spent two ults. ults. At least they that use I three. could see. They use three. They use three. Okay, so we kept Kiri ult. I mean that is a reaper on the ham. Okay, ham goes down. Should be enough for Owu to secure this. Start building up charge. Just. Unlucky comms from Hawu there, not, not getting... I'm not even sure that was uh, necessarily unlucky charms. They, they time their ultimates, they sync them up pretty well. Uh, I think what we saw was just Ramapo responding appropriately and in a bit more of a favorable position. I, I, yeah, I'd rather take the positive view on that. <laughs> this... Okay, so we've got a Lucio ult. That will keep him alive. He's gonna have to time it right. Unlucky. And another unlucky pick. But they, they pick their big DPS, their Reaper. Sig with healthy supply of health. I think it's a 3v4 right now. Yep, and they, she just cleanse. Oh, I bet she just she might cleanse there. Well, it seems like Owu will have enough alts to throw here to really either force it in or for force the capture or force the point completely. So they'll have May, they'll probably have Reaper pretty quick. Lucio's is probably there. They oh, could no, even have a near- it. Oh no. I think he might have died right before popping it. Which, which is the bad thing. I, Lucio's ult, when you have to do it, it takes a little bit. He has to jump up and slam, which... Really, a lot of people when they see, try to hear him say it, they kind of just try to target him as best they can. Was that a did 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 our Lucio get booped? Oh. Yes. Ah, we couldn't get the touch off. It'll be two one now. Ramapo on the board. So unlucky. <laughs> Ham actually was play of the game. That one's gonna be nice bragging about. <laughs> Quite shocking. Who could have imagined that there would be a ham player? And we'll be right back.
Moving into map four of the series. Two, one. Oh, it needs one more to wrap it up. You know, my favorite map on push, this is. <laughs> As I say, like you. Yeah, this is, yeah, no, this is definitely my favorite map for push. Um, I just, each time we've, we've played it, we've won. It's, it's pretty. I do feel like this is a really strong map for over, our Overwatch team. We've seen it a lot this season. They used it to come back multiple times. I, th this map does it has a little bit of high ground, but not too much. No, and we have seen flyers on on this map this season, but I'm not expecting any from Owu's side. No, it seems like the uh, typical Owu team comp. Very standard Owu team comp. I think that's fair. question here is, will Romapo field a tracer? Because I feel like you can field a tracer on this map and it's a huge pain. I would agree with that. Um, you know, tracer this season, dominant a lot across pros and I think I've seen a couple collegiate games where tracer really takes center stage. The ball is back. I don't even think you can Maywall the ball well enough here to get an early pick. No, I don't think you can. I got an Echo and a Reaper. Oh! He just barely got back to his own health. And they are playing two Flyers. They're playing Mercy and... And an Echo, yeah. Which, strong counter for Luke and a soldier. And I think he'll hopefully be able to pick them off really well. But it looks like Ball will try to force Luke to look his way. I don't even think Ball is looking to do damage here. I think he's just harassing us to pull our attention off the rest of their team and then spinning off into oblivion and then coming back. Yeah. If I'm correct, oh well now he has Lucio old, so he'll probably stay around for a little bit. Yeah. But we're making, okay, we're making progress. It's not like Ball is, oh. Okay, okay and Ball goes down. We should see them push hard. Oh no, Sig goes down. There goes the Lucio. And, they, and they're spending many ults here. They're really just they're spending a little bit too many ults to really pop out of Wu. What we don't want to see here is Owu spend an ult and not get any value out of it. So I think we're holding. Oh. Oh, they did. Yeah, we're holding. We'll we'll have a strong retake here in a bit. I think Henry switched. Maybe to Moira. Moira? Yeah. I, I would kind of like a Moira here. Moira's. No. Well, I feel like Moira for the damage, I feel like. Yeah. And she's always been that mix between that big damage and that big healing. And... Oh. oh, another Owu wipe. So on the. So unlucky. That was interesting. They're really forcing these team fights and really doing well and just slightly looking away because of ball. Again, I think the I think the ball's whole stratagem here is to, oh no. I don't think they're gonna make it. Oh uh, Did Owu make it on the other side? No, they have not. Oh, no. They haven't gotten over there yet at all. And then the always, and then and the ball's they, gone again. Okay. They forced them off. This could be our chance to make a little ground in the opposite direction. They will have forward spawn, which is a little annoying. But yeah, we were so close to not having them forward spawn. Yeah. If we could get a May wall here, there could be a oh. there could be a chance. Oh, he Lucio ulted just to save the ball. But they might get some, and they are going to get it. Ooh. That's going to be a few kills. That's two, and it looks like maybe almost three out of that. It's and three. He, he's really dominating here. <laughs> they just run away. We should be able to get, I think, at least to the, the first bridge, hopefully. I think, yeah, up to stairs or maybe. And it looks like Owu might try to push stairs. Yeah, they look like they are. They're gonna okay, try we, to hold we do have stairs. someone on the escort, though, right? Yes. Okay. Will. I, I, I hope we do. Okay, we do. All right. Balls there, Ken. Ah. 
I wouldn't mind a Moira ult. And it comes out, and we're using it to heal and damage. Oh, come on, damage. Kills the hamster, a little bit of the hamster ult. I think, yeah, oh, who's gonna get wiped again here? Henry, get out of there. Oh, wow, they're gonna hunt him down. Even with the mobility, I don't know if he can. No, just so unlucky not to. Five minutes on the clock, plenty of game left. And over overtime in this game mode is a lot different than overtime in a little bit other the other game modes. Which, well, that's a big oh, game. look at that ball barely making it out of there. You know, Lucio does have a big boop spot from to all in that whole line there, because that off of that you can. Just, well, do we have? We don't have Lucio, oh, no, Lucio currently. Yeah. yeah. The other team does, which that's a little scary to know that. So we have 83 to Kiriko. We have Soldier again. That's a pretty good May wall. Oh, oh. wow, that Lucio. Oh, wow. And oh, does I don't know. We have so many. It's 3 2 right now. Just so unlucky not to. So we have Kiriko ult. We have Soldier ult. We'll have Moira ult. We have May ult. We can do something. Four minutes left on the clock. Ball oh, sandwich wow. gets out of there yet again. Uh, ult come out here. I, I agree. Yeah, uh, we're holding. I think we're holding close to five right now. Which means we could be building one up if we spent it. That was Reaper ult on their side though, right? Yes. Yeah. I feel really probably might even have ult again. I mean, I feel oh. like Ball goes down here. Yet again, saved by the Lucio. Mm, that might have been his overshield. Oh no, it probably was Lucio's. His, his overshield, I think, is also for some reason. I might be wrong. But this Lucio really just saving Ball's life every time. That's Lucio really helping out Ramapo. And I think that's the first time I think I've seen their Mercy dead this whole game. She's just also very effective. But... Given that they have two flyers, I wonder if it would be better to put Matt on Reaper here. I mean, I think I could also see him as a hit scan to really just stop their ball with Tinder. I mean, I know the May ult is super nice to have on this map, but... And a big pick again. For... On the... Is that our more ult? It is? Okay. And the ball is almost Let's dead Let's take again. the ball out! Okay. And a big pick on the ball. We should make a little more ground here. Two minutes on the clock. I think they really want, they really want to try to take those stairs. Not going to. It seems like Ball never runs out of ult charge at all. This might be the first game three. It might, it really might be. I think it might be going to game five. Oh, game five. Sorry, wrong, wrong numbers. <laughs> I can't count today. Yeah. Ball ult is just oh. never 
Never gone, it seems like. Fake gets a pick there. Oh, who's going to get pushing, wiped again? They're pushing it back. Oh, they weren't pushing it. I think... <clears throat> we'll have Moira ult here in a little bit. This ball has just been such a huge pain in Oulu's side. I mean, the echo goes down? Not quite. Uh, I don't think they're gonna be able to touch, no. So. Not quite able to touch. That'll be 2-2 two, two going to map five. So unlucky. This ball is really terrorizing them. Yeah, they didn't have the tracer that time. Luke on Soldier 76 play the game though. You see what he did? He just let ball go past him and then just just kill everyone because ball can't protect. I do think you had a point when you mentioned that the Mercy was surviving too long? I think we might need more hit scan to kind of respond to their threats, but we'll see what they decide to go with and. Uh, and they're gonna pause again. I guess we'll take another short break.
All right, moving into game five of the series for what I believe is the first time this season. Or second time? Second time this season. Yeah, second time. Going to be playing on Blizzard World. Thoughts on Blizzard World? The first, uh, the first point of it is, you know, that first opening little gateway is um, really tough to deal with, especially if you have characters like Junkrat or Sigma or, or even ex like any really actually just any character that map it's just tough to get through with how big and open it's supposed to be and you kind of have to file either into that or into a side room where characters like sigma or jump take big 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 uh, effect looks like the only major change we have here is going to be the rissa alex on rissa oh that is uh matt on reaper I thought about that last game where they might do the two hit scan to address all the flyers. Is Blizzard World as vertical as the last map? Um, it can be. Um, further into the point, the, after you cap the um, objective here, it can be. Because you have the circle area on top of Blizzard World that does it. And, you know, Blizzard World personally is not my favorite. Especially for hybrid maps like this. And... Oh, and it's interesting, they also have a break, but that's probably to counter ball. But on top of Blizzard, this first point, not as much high ground, which you can see on top. Oh, oh where the, the. An the early pick on the Luke, yeah. Duskwood is the, the only high ground where some teams will take t try to take um, advantage of and ball into the back line again. Ball up a little bit. Yeah. Echo moves to support him. I got a question. Since hybrid can be a draw, what happens? Do you personally know? I know it says something in the rulebook. We haven't seen a draw on hybrid. Oh, wait. Uh, I remember reading about this the other day. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Because draws are, one, very rare. And... and but, it could be point differential? Uh, is it point okay. My gut says it's point differential, but honestly, I would be cracking open the rule book for a quick read if we had a tie here. Hopefully not. It. Hopefully the rule caps three, all three here. Who is on Ash? I think it is. Who's on Ash? I mean, Bob here would be nice. Okay, oh, we with several ults building up. Kiriko, Rally. I'll try a different approach. Rally is very good. She, uh, quite recent, I think maybe two seasons ago for Overwatch, um, Kir um, Brigida finally got her uh, stun out of her bash out of her ult. Hmm. Which, in the first game, was quite broken. You could cancel so many ults. The overheal from her ult was insane. We have to be able to kill Ball here. He gets away again. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> Just keeps going through, which, you know, it's quite annoying. Oh, and then a Reaper ult in such a tiny space. That seems, this is why many people don't. Question like with Blizzard World, there's only really two points you can enter in from, and two points you can exit out of, and they're they're, they're both just straight chill points. And so we have Bob. I really like Bob on Blizzard World. If we mix it with the Kiriko old, it might work. And Bob can stun a uh, ball with if he directly hits him. Okay, so Bob goes out. Kiriko, oh, this is kind of what I foresaw. And hopefully they do get, they get two. one pick, two, two picks. picks. And they will only hopefully only have to use two ults here. That was the Bob Kiriko ult that I had envisioned. envisioned. I'm glad we were able to pull that off. You know, I don't really see Sky ever really play. Um, actually, no, he's been playing Kiriko. I, I take that back. I consistently see him play. Kiriko. Yeah, we we see Sky on Kiriko a lot. That might have been. I, I might have been envisioning Henry. <laughs> uh, you, you might yeah. be developing like me. You, you see a lot of these games. Sometimes you 
Mixing. You see things that aren't really there? <laughs> not, hopefully not yet. Now hopefully that doesn't hit you for a few years. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hope it doesn't. Oh no, Kaj kind of does that to someone. <laughs> you see things you don't, you don't want to see. Oh, the ball again. But we're healing. Oh no, our tank goes down. And they have Echo, Echo. flying in. Jeez, Echo really just getting ult in every team fight it seems she has. But at least this one more is a, more of a wasted Echo ult, in my opinion. We're gonna have that Kiriko bobbled again here. Visor 2 would be not too bad to combo with Kiriko ult. We can send that uh, soldier up top. Or not. See, this is... The, the, this map is really quite... After the second point downhill, like jump rat really throttles. He he can sometimes be a big counter to ball. And... Come on, get the echo. Oh, she's gonna have to pocket it. Oh, big big heal, ball. big heal. And we have they're, they're trapped. Oh. I mean this this is shaping up to be nope oh. nope never mind. For a second there, I thought oh, I saw a good deep. soldier ult, but it didn't shape up that way. It's kind of good he didn't use his ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the end, he made the right call holding it. Hopefully they can keep... Did Bob come out? Yes. Oh, no. They didn't use Kiri, though, which is important. That the Kiri-Bob combination is so helpful. Kiriko with... Because um, it keeps the Bob alive for so long. Yeah, because you can consistently heal it faster. Yeah. But they might do um, Sigma and gra try to grab Ball and... Hopefully, pull their whole team into it. There are some good Sigma old spots on this map. Around this area, actually. Yeah, he's. And hopefully. Oh, big reaper ult. Oh. They trade ults, and I think they squeak out a tad more value there than we do. 40 seconds on the clock. You won't get the best of me. And then. So it's Sky going to Baptiste? Indeed it is. Several good bat old spots on this map. Yeah. Oh. Now that's the one thing Bap is really good at, verticality. And he can he can kinda get up to where that um the turret is and kinda sit there and Okay, there's that Sigult. I'd like to see us move in here, get a couple Ooh, kills. That's good. the couple kills I was hoping for. Two big kills. And they're gonna really just force them. Now we can make some good space here. There is going to be one more fight. If we can win one more team fight. I don't, hopefully they'll have an ult to hopefully throw. This, uh, this is such a long stretch. From Bob's the, coming up. Yeah. I think, yeah. Bob could be very impactful. That's going to be a... Oh, no. Terrible. Oh, Reaper is behind them. Oh, but he... Oh, oh it's a big pick on their Lucy. Oh, it's a big pick. Ash at 74. It's not... Unlucky, but I think Sigma is still on. Sigma and Soldier, Soldier still on the payload, which, which can cause a lot of trouble for anyone. Sigma still there. Oh. Unlucky. They're they're literally only like a couple of meters away from it too. Oh, they were so close. If they got the two there, I would I would feel a lot better going into this next portion of the map. Yeah, defending here. Hopefully, Pro we will be. Quite strong, like they usually are. Hmm. What do you think? They're gonna run for the defense. You think it's gonna be a standard Owu defense, or you think they're gonna? I think they it up? keep the Sig. Oh, and Ana. I actually like bringing in the Ana here for the sleep, uh, especially for Ball and Anti. That's ball. what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully, the other team does not carry Spot. I've always liked being dog. Have we seen much carry over on their side of the field? No, I don't think we have. I don't think so. I like. I actually like Moira Ana a lot. So. Who do we have on the Ana? Uh, I think it will be. Oh, Sky. Yeah. He is very good aim, so yeah. Ana with him is going to be quite quite good. Also on the Valorant team here. Is he? Yeah. Ah. Your freshmen are doing well. Oh, yes. Growing program. Very happy with it. Four, three, two, one. Actually, Sky is a very big name in the program. Ironic because he actually didn't apply for the eSports scholarship. Ah. Let's mobilize. Oh, I'm going to 
same. So we're back on the May. Which mm, still a great counter to ball. And especially with I think with the Ana Moira, I think we could oh. see a very Big impactful ball. May here. That's the minute I say anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a big rock on that Lucio. Kill him. Yeah. He's annoying. Man. I think. Oh, and they killed Mercy. I have, but they took uh, the other. Oh. If we can, I come on, come on, Alex. You got them. Oh, he squeaks away. But I don't. Oh, they have their. I think this is what a four-one. Okay, we get the pick on the reaper. He won't but... be able to. Oh, oh. damage! How to hit? She does more damage when you're under 50, which is very annoying, because especially with that... If we could find the May ult here. Shoot. Okay, so we're looking to use high ground. We're going to have Moira ult in 40. Couple other ults almost up. Oh. Okay, we trade. Can we get the Lucio? Okay, we got the Lucio. We have the numbers. And it's a big, it's big to get those two, those supports off of them. You know, ball will not be as strong. Come on, Luke. <sighs> Alex chasing the echo a tad, perhaps a tad too far. I like playing on the side ground. He comes back in a big way. Oh, but we can't quite capitalize on the signal. Oh, and they get a res off. But it doesn't matter. I think they, the res is useless. And it's Can we big, get the ham too? And it's a oh, okay, game. huge, huge play. Two, okay. Only two ults used. Uh, maybe two ults. I couldn't count. Yeah. Uh, let's see, there was there uh, was three. soldier there. Yes. Three alts, but it's important to still keep that nano there. Nano with very important to sometimes keep tanks alive, especially with this new uh, with this new season where tanks take feels like more damage every time. Overwatch is a game of momentum. Indeed. And they're gonna push this payload a little bit further back. Oh. This oh. ball. Ball just never dies, it seems. Eternal ball. And we do have oh. we have mail though. Which is a quite important. Here. Oh no! Let's get sleep on it. I like that sleep, but oh, he didn't get the is six still on it? No, not quite. They need to hold for another two minutes. We're really good. Trying to be the one that. Good effort. They just need a name of someone. Ah. So unlucky not to. So unlucky. Well, that was Owu's second loss in the general season. They'll be moving forward to finals when we come back from spring break. Uh, looking forward to their performance then. I think that's three teams very strong uh, in the division. We'll see how they do in finals. Have a good night. Thank you for coming out. Uh, we will attempt to stream our other Overwatch game in one moment.